I'm Adam Bilsing, and today we're uh, working towards the ultimate goal here of ecstatic improvisation through technical mastery of the drum set. Really just means I want to become so good that I can freak out real nice. <laughs> Good morning. What's up, everybody? It's about time to get to work here for day 93 of the Oregon Drum Project. Levon's excited too. So uh, today we'll be working out of mastering the tables of time. If you'd like to follow along, I'm running pages 2 through 11 right now, and I should be hitting them at 55 beats per minute and 70 beats per minute today. Alrighty, here we are over at the practice pad, sort of wrapping up the day. Um, the pages have been going pretty well today, and I usually show you real fast stuff and talk about working on stick heights and accents and things like that. But today I rolled it back to the 55 beats per minute tempo because I want to talk about the perils of playing slow. Drummers who have been working out for a while know that playing slow is in a lot of ways much harder than playing fast. The best example I ever heard, or my favorite example, I guess, was that Ray Charles on the bandstand would play certain songs painfully slow, and uh, if his drummers couldn't hang, he would let them know. It's a real litmus test to see if people have spent any time at slow tempos. It's really easy to tell. And uh, here we go. I'm going to play it down, and then we'll talk a little more afterwards. Okay, so I think that was a pretty good exercise to show actually because the accents um, stay in the same part of the measure, which some of these exercises move them all around. So for example, the accents are on one and, and three, four, five, no matter what subdivision you're going through. So that felt pretty good that time. I'll be honest, the first hour of today when I was working through at 55 beats per minute, it didn't feel anywhere near that good. So there's a certain amount of concentration it takes to keep everything even at these slow, slow tempos. And uh, especially cycling through the subdivisions, it makes things kind of difficult because one of the easiest cheats to playing at slow tempos is to run a much faster subdivision in your head than what you're actually playing with the sticks. So if you're playing eighth notes, you can be thinking 16th notes in your head, and that helps to space everything out evenly because you're, in a way, playing all the notes in your head, even though you're only playing some of them on the actual drum. But when you're cycling through triplets and 16th notes and things like that, it's really hard to keep a faster subdivision in your head because it's changing all the time. So that's another reason why this book in particular is really great for slow tempos. It also sort of necessitates slower tempos because I can really only play 16th note triplets so fast right now. So, uh, wow. That's about it for today, actually. For day 93 of the Oregon Drum Project. It was a great day. Everything felt pretty good. Even the struggles, I feel like I was learning from them. Focused a lot of my attention on the really slow tempos today but still made it through the pages I'm running and mastering the tables of time twice, so that was nice. Um, I'm wrapping up a couple minutes early today because I gotta run my truck to the shop before work. I'm pretty strict about this morning schedule. I actually started a few minutes early today as well to make sure that I get my full two hours in, so uh, I'm not cheating, I'm not skipping, I'm not skimping, I'm doing all the time. Everything is, uh, I don't know. You gotta make little adjustments sometimes, but uh, I get in a terrible mood if I miss my two hours, so I gotta get my two hours in. So we're gonna wrap it up for the day. That does it, 93 days in the bag. Special thanks as always to my producer, Mr. Silas himself over at Red 11 Media. I also wanna say thanks to Las Cabos Drumsticks, which I've been enjoying very much, and the DW Smart Practice TM easy practice practice pad set whatever it's called it's going pretty well i think i may make a few adjustments to it this weekend but overall a pretty good addition to the practice rig 
So if you like what you're seeing and you would like to follow along and catch all of the upcoming episodes, you can like and subscribe by clicking on the buttons below. You can also follow me over on Twitter at Dirty Bandana or on the social network Minds also at Dirty Bandana. And for all the details on everything concerning the Oregon Drum Project, you can check me out at DirtyBandana.com. See y'all tomorrow. Oh, 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 oh,